Hello, all you guys and ghouls out there. Welcome back to my channel. It is I, CJ, and today I will be doing the different art styles challenge or art style challenge. The thing you do where you emulate someone else's art styles, you know what I mean. Anyway, I know that most people have been doing between, I guess, 10 or 20 art styles. But I'm like really freaking tired so I'm only going to be doing a handful plus I wanted to do some that people haven't done before or at least the ones that I've seen I've seen people do them like a hundred times anyway so I'm a, I'm going to attempt to try to be different and so yeah here's my attempt Hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. Alrighty, first art style up, Cuphead. There are probably a couple of people who've done this in an art style challenge. I mean, I've seen a lot of fan art of Cuphead, but I haven't seen too many people do um, emulations of this particular art style, which is okay, whatever. I haven't seen it. It's probably out there. I just haven't found it. I've used a uh, Kali Mara. I guess her name's supposed to be like Kalamari or Kalamari or something like that. And so I used her as like uh, the model of my line art here. And yeah, I've I enjoyed my time making this, but I didn't think the line art came out that well, which just solidifies on why I don't do line art very much, but it was an honest, I don't know, attempt, so yeah. <laughs> This uh, next art style is very near and dear to me. It's the original animation or anime style of Dirty Pair. Back in 1985, which is super crazy because it was made literally a year before I was born. When I grew up, and finally figured out what anime was. 
was one of the first anime series that I grew up on. It was another series made after Dirty Pair. It was called Dirty Pair Flash. Dirty Pair Flash was great, but the original Dirty Pair, oh man, that just brings back so many memories. 005 Conspiracy Affair of Nolindia Project Eden Oh man, it was just It was just My life back then From the Music To their Kay and Yuri's Crazy hijinks Being the lovely angels Working on the 3WA Or the 3WA Or WWAA Or whatever you call it it was just, oh man, it was just a blast for me. Of course, I had to do Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super, whichever style you you want to attribute this to. Dragon Ball Z, well, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and GT. I know GT gets a lot of flack. I grew up on those. Read the manga. I freaking love this. Akira Toriyama, you literally saved me from the time I was in third grade to fifth. It was just my life I oh man this this series brings back a lot of memories as well but yeah I had to do this style I figured if I was like animated in this show I wouldn't have like the happy-go-lucky eyes like Chi Chi or Bulma I would probably have eyes like 18 but maybe not so much as the angular nose so yeah this is what I did for this style Alrighty, moving right along. This next style should be fairly recognizable. And if you haven't guessed by now, it is Naoko Takeuchi's Sailor Moon. Um, the manga style, to be more precise. I'm quite sure people have done a lot of fan art in the anime style, but I haven't seen too many fan arts done in um, Takayuchi's manga style. And of course, I grew up with Sailor Moon reading the manga and watching the anime. I always thought it was super cool that these young girls were superheroes and that their 
um, alter ego persona, superhero personas were named after planets and that they're princesses of their respective planets. But also at the time, I also thought it was crazy that the planets that they came from were pretty much inhospitable to life. Of course, with the exception of Earth. And I'm like, oh, these must be like, be like super freaking weird alien chicks. I don't know. But I always thought that was funny. And yeah, <laughs> I always thought it was funny. the final art style I don't know if anyone recognizes this or even like remotely remembers it if you kind of recognize it this is the art style from the show Daria oh my god like after the Batman animated series I would turn to MTV yeah this is back when I had cable yeah, I would turn to MTV and watch Daria. Oh my gosh. Uh, Daria, her best friend Jane, and Jody, they were like my all time favorite characters on the show, period. Like, this show just had me like over the side, like in tears. This Daria, Jane, and Jody are like my spirit animals. I know that sounds weird, but oh my gosh, this show just. It just brings back a lot of memories as well. This was my childhood. Oh, 90s cartoons. They just don't make them like they used to anymore. Don't they? I must be on another plane. 
planet. To the end of the challenge. Woohoo! Let's see. One thing I've learned from this challenge is I have got to have a little bit more patience when it comes to line art. Line art, when it's done right, can look incredible, but you have to have patience for it. And I think that's my big stick with line art. And plus, I tend to like to do more painterly style anyway but it's good to know line art and when it's done right it can look awesome but I had a lot of fun making these pictures in the five different art styles really brought back a lot of fun memories from my childhood and it was overall it was a pretty fun experience like I said before, these are the five art styles that came to mind. The only, I guess you can say, modern one was the Cuphead one. Everything else was from my childhood. If you have any suggestions on what other art styles I could do, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I guess that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you guys on the next one. And...